This tutorial is the second in the series. If you've not watched part one on creating your wiki, you might do so now prior to proceeding with this video. This video is designed to help you add additional information to your wiki, such as your unit documents, worksheets, videos, and other documentation that you may have created for your classroom. Remember, as you watch this video, consider pausing it occasionally to apply what you've learned. Once you complete this tutorial, you will understand how to find your wiki once you've created it. You will also be able to modify your home page to include your photo as well as your biographical information. Lastly, we will cover how to upload the documents that you have created for delivery in your classroom. Do you remember where your wiki is? That's pretty important since you've expended some effort to create it. If you don't remember where it is, here's an easy way to find it. First, open Google Chrome and make sure you're signed in to your Google account. Next, enter sites.google.com in the address box. Then press the Enter key. You should now see a list of all the wikis that you have created or others have shared with you. Find your wiki and click on the name. This will take you to your wiki homepage. So let's start by personalizing your wiki homepage. Make sure you're on your home page by clicking Home, then click the Edit Page button. Now click the Insert tab, then click Image. This will take you to the Add an Image dialog box where you can either click on an image that you've already uploaded or you can upload an image from the computer. We'll assume that you've not uploaded an image, so click the Upload Images button. You will now need to navigate to the folder that contains your picture. This assumes, of course, that you have a digital likeness that you would like to upload. If not, get a digital camera or cell phone, take your picture, and upload it to your computer. Select your photo, and then click Open. Select the photo and click OK. You may have to resize the photo by clicking on the small, medium or large labeled SML depending on the size of the original photo. Now let's add some of your bio. First click the wrap on icon. This is located on the toolbar at the top or bottom of the photo when you've selected the photo. By selecting wrap on it allows the text to flow around your picture. Next add some information about yourself. Some things you might include are the school and colleges you attended, school where you teach, the grades and subjects you teach, and any other facts about yourself that you would like people to know. Once you've completed your bio, click the Save button to save your work. You might take some time to admire your handiwork before we go on adding documents to your wiki. The purpose of your wiki is to provide a place to showcase your work, provide a collaboration space for coworkers, other teachers, and your coach, as well as provide a place for you to make backup copies of your materials. As you develop your documents, feel free to upload them periodically, even if they are in draft form. In fact, you can reload them as many times as you would like. To upload a document to Unit 1, click Unit 1. Click the Edit Page icon and then type the name of the unit in the Unit Title box. In the example here, the unit title is Unit 1-Projectile Motion. After entering the unit title, click Save. To add files to the page, click on the Add Files link near the bottom of the page. A browse window will open to allow you to navigate to the folder containing your files. To select two or more files, hold down the control key and click on any files you want to upload. If you want to upload everything in the directory, click on one of the files and then while holding down the control key, press the letter A. This will select all of the files. Click the open button and the files you have selected will be uploaded. When you edit your materials, you can simply reload them at any time by following the same procedure that was outlined previously in steps 5 through 8. You're encouraged to keep the same file name so that when the files are uploaded, the older version is saved 
and the new version replaces the old one. To access the older versions, click on the v.x label, x in this case is the version number, to the right of the file name, and select the version to open. To download a file to your computer, click on the down arrow. To delete a file, click on the x to the right. Now that you've uploaded your unit files, let's learn how to share them with others. Your sharing audience in this case might include other teachers, your school administrators, or your coach. In any case, we will illustrate a variety of sharing methods. To share your wiki, click the Share button located on the upper right-hand side of any of your wiki pages. Regardless of which page you are on, the Share button works the same for all pages. That is, it will share the address of your home page. The sharing control screen looks like this. At the top of a page, there is a link that you can send to others which they can use to view your materials. If you are a Gmail user, click on the Gmail symbol and an email message will be created with the link to your wiki. Alternatively, you can use Google+, Facebook, or Twitter to share your link. In the middle of the sharing control screen, you can alter who can view your wiki. The current setting in this case is public on the web. As it is important that others can access your work, this is the recommended setting. We will talk more about this in a bit. The invitation area also allows you to enter people's email addresses for the purpose of notifying them your site is available for access. You can also specify the access they have including is owner, can edit, can view. Is owner provides unrestricted access to the wiki. This is the access that you as the owner of the wiki should maintain control of. You might grant can edit access to some of the people who you feel can edit your materials. For example, other collaborators and your coach should receive this access type. The suggested visibility option is public on the web. This provides the least restrictions to access and internet searches can find your materials. If you're concerned that public on the web is too open, you might consider using the anyone with a link option. This makes the wiki non-discoverable via a search, but can still be accessed by someone who has the specific link. The most restrictive and therefore the most tedious is the specific people access. That is, you must grant each person individual access. This is not a recommended access option. Even if you have granted public on the web access, you will still want to notify specific collaborators that your wiki exists. To do this, scroll down to the bottom of the page and enter the collaborator's email addresses in the box labeled Invite People. Consider whether they should have Can Edit or Can View access. In this case, we are providing them Can Edit access. If you check the Notify People via email box, you can also add a message to send by clicking on the Add Message link. This is a good idea so the collaborator knows why they received the message. Click Send when all the appropriate emails and options are selected. This illustrates the information that a collaborator will receive when you hit the Send button. All they have to do then is to click on Open to view your wiki. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you feel more comfortable with inserting pictures, entering your bio, uploading files, and setting the access permissions. If you have questions about any of these topics, talk to your assigned coach. You might also consult the supplemental information page for more information on using wikis. To get a better understanding of how to create a wiki, consider watching the first video, Creating a Wiki Using Google Sites, which was developed by M.A. Scott. A couple of other features you might consider for your wiki include adding an announcements page and adding a calendar. References 2 and 3 were created by Jen Johnson and are great additions to your wiki repertoire. You have completed part 2 of this tutorial series. Part 3 is a PDF document that details some of the instructions on how to maintain your wiki. You might peruse this document and consult it for instructions on such thing as linking videos to your wiki pages, deleting files, downloading files, and so on. Best wishes as you build your wiki and share your work with fellow collaborators and your coach.